God damn it. Oh, hello, people. Continuing to chase with Hermes. I've actually had a glitch where I fell through the platform because I was still gliding when it fell down. It's fucking weird, I'll tell you that much. So right here there are a bunch of civilians and harpies and dogs. Again, you should be used to them, so don't worry too much. And with my and with, since your blazer is stronger than ever, well, somewhat, they really should be a problem. This is a villain if you need help, or if you just want an additional 5 XP. If you like, you probably can avoid, you probably just ignore the enemies. And try and continue onward. Your your oh, I'm really gonna enjoy killing you. I have to admit, that is pretty cool, like how he's just running around the rope, like it's a mere platform. Keep up, Kratos. Very nice statue of Vina. Of course, we will have to lay waste to it in order to get to Hermes. And that's what this catapult is for. Ready or not, Hermes, here we come. Where the hell did Hermes? Go and I'm hoping Athena's not pissed off at that statue, that magnificent statue of her being destroyed. And over here, there's actually a golly possession Hermes's coin. This triple, this multiplies the amount of red orbs you get. Either that or it does something with your combo meter, I'm not sure. But the Helios shield, well, the Hermes coin multiplies your red orbs, which I think it does. Then the, Herm then the Helios shield multiplies your combo meter. But anyway, I will not be vested by a mortal. It's demigod or fawn god, not a mortal, you idiot. So yeah, this is the actual fight with Hermes. He continually runs around. He continues to run around, and you're gonna just you should roll around and and use your square attacks to hurt him. Like roll after each attack or something. At certain intervals, he will engage you in a quick time event where you rotate the joystick. At certain, and if you try to run a wall, he's possible and likely to fall off, like again a few extra hits, like that. I got hit quite a lot. I have to admit to that. He drops about four amounts of green ore. So by the fourth one, he's pretty much going to die, and you're going to have to engage in a quick time event to kill him. So yeah, roll around and attack every now and then. Don't like it, try and get too aggressive, or you will probably fail. Yeah. It's worth, I don't, the, he doesn't do too much damage, even on Chaos, so you don't have to worry too much about that. And I think I was wrong, it's three amounts of green orbs. Which is right around here. Yeah. And now, he's dead.
I thought Spartans fought with honor, and yet you seek to kill me when I have no way to defend myself? Not fair. But you have your own sense of honor, right, Kratos? And what has that honor brought you? Nothing but nightmares of your failure. Today you may defeat me, but in the end, Kratos, in the end, you'll betray only yourself. Oh, you are so gonna get it now. That's one leg, now for the other. So yeah, this is a particularly different se death sequence. Just one, just one button press on rotation. But anyway, go to Hermes, who would he, who would actually bleed to death, and I need your shoes, dude. They're awesome. Of Hermes. She was taken from the Mesmer of the Gods. You now wear the boots of Hermes. Use their speed to your advantage. The Hermes boots are an interesting kind of item. Unless you have a little bit, you actually will never use it. Like, it will never drain your item meter. When you level it up, you can leave a trail of fire whenever you run, like when you charge it up. It's not that useful to level it up, it doesn't really offer any benefits. But as in, like, it can help you get enemies into the air. And the brief amount of speed it offers isn't really that helpful. Due to the delay after it's used. But, uh, when you jump in the air and move, and you press the joystick, you can do an evade move. Where he uses the boots to jet through the air quickly. It's very useful in a tight spot. It's cool to see him run on the walls like the Prince Persia, in my opinion. And right here, I used a lot of my magic. Because I'm gonna get a refill soon. I decided to orb farm here. You don't have to do this, but unless. And you probably shouldn't if you haven't been following the magic. Phoenix feathers like I have, or else you will win and end up wasting your magic. This probably could be a good spot for the feather hit combo again if you don't use the um, archer. So, right here, I'm very close to getting my level 4 Blades of Exile, which will really come in handy in a bit. But, yeah, we've actually gotten all the items now. The Bowl of Apollo, the Helios Head, and the Boots of Hermes. Yeah. We've, and we haven't, like, gotten a new item in a very long time. But we will in a, in a few parts, I think. And that new item we're getting it kicks a lot of ass. You might remember seeing it in some trailers and stuff. And over here there's another Helios chest. I'm not gonna reveal what that weapon is. And here's a Phoenix Feather. Very nice. So yeah, I don't understand why Helios turns into flies, well, locust, 
That doesn't really have any relevance to his being a messenger of the gods, and I think he actually killed civilians with the Helios solo for that. Yeah. I really don't know why Locusts form, but they carry disease, but I don't know why they form after he dies. 